The BAE Systems Releasable Body Armor Vest is a highly versatile, lightweight, and comfortable tactical vest designed to improve wear mobility and overall performance. The RBAV's components include an outer carrier made up of a front panel with emergency release handle and a rear panel, both of which feature MOLLE attachment points and torso plate pockets. The front panel also contains shoulder straps with four grommets for the adjustment of the vest's length, side plate pockets, and a front flap for securing cummerbunds. The RBAV carrier also includes left and right cummerbunds with MOLLE attachment points, grommets for connection to the release mechanism, and adjustable webbing straps for a secure and comfortable fit. For additional comfort and weight distribution, the RBAV also includes elastic waistbands with grommets for connection to the release mechanism and adjustable webbing straps identical to the cummerbund. The final component of the RBAV outer carrier is the release cable assembly with emergency pull handle and two cables of separate lengths. The RBAV is fully compatible with spear, bulks, cut soft armor inserts as pictured. The front soft armor insert and the back soft armor insert and different shapes and will only fit the respective carriers. Pay attention to any instructions provided in the soft armor inserts label. Optional components of the RBAV include groin protectors, which feature a removable soft armor insert and a front plate pocket, MSAP deltoid upper arm protectors with hook and loop closure and soft arm inserts, modular collar armor system, including adjustable front yoke, rear collar, and shoulder protection, all with soft armor inserts. Installing and assembling the components of the RBAV are very simple. For the spear bulk soft armor inserts, Open the hook and loop closure on the inside of the carrier, fold the sides, the wings, inward, and slide the panel into the carrier until the top of the soft armor panel reaches the highest point in the carrier. When inserting the soft armor panels, ensure that you follow all instructions on its labels. Typically, these labels face your body when inserted. Close the carrier with the hook and loop closure. Torso plates are easily inserted into the plate pocket immediately in front of the soft armor. Pull back the adjustment strap from the plate pocket and slide the torso plate into pocket, securing it by attaching the hook and loop closure on the plate pocket. Close the carrier with the hook and loop closure near the bottom of the carrier. You may find it easier to install the hard armor before inserting the soft armor panels. Side plates are easily inserted into the side plate pockets located on the front carrier. Slide the plate into the plate pocket and secure with the strap by closing the snap. To attach the groin protector, Connect the buckles on the protector to the buckles found on the inside of the front carrier as shown. The male and female buckles are arranged to ensure proper direction for installation. The straps attached to the buckles can be adjusted for the correct height and fit. Insert optional 6x6 plates into the groin protector by lifting the plate pocket flap, sliding the plate into the pocket, and securing the hook and loop closure. Optional 6x6 plates can also be inserted into the deltoid upper armor protector by lifting the hook and loop flap, sliding the plate into position, and closing the flap. To attach the deltoid upper armor protector, insert the tab that extends from the top of the carrier into the middle of the shoulder pad and secure with the hook and loop closure. Please note that this is also the time for adjusting the height of the deltoid upper arm protector. The modular collar armor system can be configured and installed in several ways. Begin by removing the standard RBAV shoulder pads and replacing them with the shoulder pads from the collar armor system. These shoulder pads are installed exactly the same as the standard pads with the soft armor closest to the body. Open the top flap, position the shoulder pad, and secure the flap over the shoulder strap with the hook and loop closed as demonstrated. Repeat on the opposite side, making sure that the curved side of the shoulder pad faces the neck. The yoke and back collar pieces are then secured to the RBAV using hook and loop attachment. The yoke attaches to the loop on the inside of the RBAV front carrier, while the collar pieces attach to the hook on the underside of the shoulder pads. When installed, the modular collar armor system should appear as pictured. Since the RBAV is a releasable vest, the modular collar armor system must also be releasable. The final step of installing the modular collar armor system is to attach the rear collar pieces to the release mechanism. Turn the RBAV over so that the back of the vest is facing you 
and locate the elastic loops on the back of the collar. Open the flap at the top of the rear carrier, exposing the release cable and the ends of the shoulder straps. Feed the elastic loop from the rear of the collar through the opening in the top of the carrier. Slowly remove the release cable from the wire channels and white cord loops in the upper part of the back of the vest carrier. Slide a small cord or shoelace through the white cord loop as pictured to serve as a guide cord. Slide the small cord through the elastic loop from the rear collar and pull tight. Next, pull the shoulder strap through the carrier so that you can see the grommets. Please note that the grommet you select will also serve as your adjustment for the length of the vest. Feed the small cord through the selected grommet and pull tightly. While still holding the guide cord in one hand, feed the release cable through the white cord as pictured and pull all of the remaining cable through the white cord loop. Then, feed the cable through the cable channel at the top of the pocket as shown. Repeat this process on the opposite shoulder by again inserting the guide cord through the white cord loop, pulling the cord through the elastic loop on the rear of the collar, feeding the cord through the selected grommet, and pulling the white cord loop through the grommet. Finish by feeding the release cable through the white cord loop and stowing the remaining cable in the channel on the far end of the pockets, as shown. Reassembly of the RBAV after an emergency release is simple and should take approximately five minutes. Begin by taking an inventory of the RBAV components, ensuring that you have all the necessary pieces. Start the reassembly by determining whether you want the release mechanism to be a left-handed or right-handed pull. The release cables can be fed through either shoulder. Next, open the release handle flap on the front carrier and, feeding both cables of the release cable assembly through the upper shoulder pocket on the front of the vest. Then, feed both cables through the cable channel on the shoulder strap and close the small flap as pictured. Set the back carrier facing the front carrier as pictured, open the flap at the top of the rear carrier, and feed the release cables through the upper shoulder pocket on the back carrier. Pull the shoulder strap from the front carrier through the upper shoulder pocket on the rear carrier so that the grommets are near the white cord loop. Feed the white cord loop through one of the grommets on the shoulder strap, remembering that these grommets are used for adjustment of the vest's length. Feed the shorter of the two release cables through the white cord loop and pull the remaining cable all the way through. Feed the short cable through the cable channel at the top center of the pocket and repeat the process on the opposite shoulder. Once the cable is pulled through the white cord loop, stow the remaining cable in the cable channel on the far end of the pocket as pictured. Next, feed the longer cable down the center of the back carrier. When you open the flap on the lower half of the back carrier, you will see the longer release cable and three white cord loops. These items will be used for the assembly of the waistbands, cummerbunds, and the completion of the release mechanism. Starting with the waistband on the left side, slide the strap under the elastic channel and under the lowest piece of the carrier and pull the strap through until the grommet is near the white cord loop. Please note that the adjustment buckle should be face down to prevent any snagging during an emergency release. Next, slide the strap from the right side waistband under the right side elastic channel and the lower outer carrier and loop the strap through the attachment point as pictured. Secure the strap with the buckle and please note that this is also the time to adjust the waistband using these straps. The cummerbunds are attached in much the same way as the waistbands. Place the left side cummerbund so the molly webbing is facing up. Slide the webbing straps at the top and bottom under the outer channel on the lower back of the carrier and pull through so that the grommets are near the white cord loops. Repeat this process on the right side as well. Place the grommets over the white cord loop at the top, then the bottom of each side, maintaining the order in which you have placed them. For example, if the left side grommet at the top is placed over the white cord loop first, then the left side grommet at the bottom should also be placed over the white cord loop first. Next, feed the longer release cable through each of the white cable loops for the cummerbunds and the waistbands, and stow the remaining cable in the left cable channel as pictured. Finish by closing the lower rear flap on the back carrier and securing the snaps. The RBAV is now reassembled and remaining components can be added. 
please pay special attention to the care and maintenance instructions displayed on the screen in the next section.